Hi gang, happy Thursday. What are we gonna talk about today? Well, this is gonna be an easy one because we are going to talk what might be our favorite brand of the entire summer season, Cloth and Stone. Are you in love with this brand as much as I am? Is there a piece you have touched from this brand that you have not absolutely fallen in love with because it is so yummy, soft, drapey, delicious, and P.S. fits like a glove. Every time I get a new piece in, I kind of let it migrate right into my closet. And so I thought it'd be fun to run through all the amazing pieces we've gotten in. We just got a brand new shipment in, so many great tops, so many great bottoms, couple fun little rompers and dresses. So let's dive into it. So one of the things I love the most about Cloth and Stone, aside from the incredible fabrics, is the versatility of the pieces. There's so many great tops that are easy to dress up and dress down. And when I think about this time of year, we are truly living that nine to nine life, right? It's that like off to work or running around all day and there's not a lot of breaks in between whatever's going on in the evening. And I don't know about you, but I am maximizing these summer days. I just saw someone comment that their kiddos are going back to school in two weeks and it kind of blew my mind in a way that I can't even quite wrap my arms around. And so it kicked that like embrace summer feeling into high gear. How do you do it? You get dressed for your day and your night. So starting with some amazing, amazing tops. This is this fun little ruffle button down in what is I think the quintessential summer 21 color, this yummy kind of rust terracotta. We've been talking about it like crazy. One of the reasons we love it so much is because it looks so great on everyone. And it's also an amazing transition color. It looks just as good in high summer as it does going into fall. So as I think about this great little top, I love it on its own, but I also think it would be amazing underneath the jacket. So how did I pair it? Well, I think this top has a little bit, as many cloth and stone tops do, touch of femininity, which I absolutely love. But I like to balance out that sweeter side of cloth and stone with some scratch, I call it. A little bit of edge. And so that's why I paired it back to my Riley's from A. Goldie. We're going to do a little A. Goldie rundown of all of our favorite bottoms and the easy ways to pair them back to these tops. So cloth and stone, sometimes I think it runs a little generous, sometimes true to size. In this top, true to size, button down. I let it open up just a little bit because I wanted to show off a little layered neck, have on some little sparkles and my statement gold ring and I'm good and out the door. Now, little lift because I feel like this is an easy date night look. I popped on my shoots shoe. Let's see if I can balance and get this guy off. We just got restocked in this guy, but it's a new version from the cork version that you've been seeing all summer. This is more of a solid neutral heel. I actually kind of love that because I think if you're looking for a shoe that can take you all the way into fall season, that cork doesn't feel quite so seasonal. So nice solid, gives me some lift. And yes, we love that clear strap because it lengthens your legs like nobody's business. Other fun tops that are kind of in this category. Well, I'm gonna bring out another Great little rust silhouette. You saw this guy on Ash. She wore it in her live a few weeks ago. This guy is a linen fabrication, but it has some of that same ruffle kind of gathered detail that this top has, but a pullover instead of a button down. So differences here. I love a good button down because I think if you're busty, it helps open up your neckline a little bit. I also just think if you have a long neck, it's an easy way to show it off and really flattering. Also, I think the silhouette on this guy is very similar to this one and that they're both just a little bit of a swing silhouette. Easy, easy, easy. And this one does have a lot of room, P.S. So if you're worried about the pulling on the buttons, you're not going to get it on this guy. Now, the difference here, fully pull over your head, no closure on the back whatsoever. And this guy, we're more of a tensile fabrication. This one is a linen same color family, a little more texture here, a little more detail here. It's just a matter of which way you want to go. I style it the exact same way. So fun and so pretty. Similar idea, this guy. Now this has been one of my favorite tops kind of all season long because I think it's got a little surprise element to it. 
So you've got that same great gathered neck as the tank we just talked about, but in the back, this beautiful, beautiful little cutout. So feminine, so pretty, and just a touch of sexy on your way out the door. You guys can see this is not a super long top. So I like this one too because it doesn't feel like you have to tuck it in. This is an easy one that's really forgiving and just skims the body. Little bit of a kick to it so it looks great with a more high-waisted bottom. Again, back to the Riley's, I absolutely love it. But you could also wear with a little pair of cutoffs. It would be so darn cute. Okay, two other kind of blouses, sleeveless blouses that I think are so beautiful. This one is one that Meg has worn, and ooh, it is a stunner. A couple of the great details the cloth and stone is known for. Number one, this great little fray edge on the sleeve, as well as on the bottom, and check it out. They made it look layered, still just one piece of fabric, thank you, so not hot, but love this little bit of layering. Um, on the bottom here that I think just gives us some interest and again not a tucker so really easy just to throw on over a pair of jeans but here's like the secret sauce on this one it is this great tie bow in the back with that little keyhole neckline so this is a good one hair up on a hot night show off that back so darn pretty and then of course there's never a wrong way to go for a little night out top in black. It always makes you feel elevated and put together. Such a beautiful one. Now there's always questions about can you wear chambray on chambray and denim on denim. And I've always been a big fan of this ever since I would dare say like J. Crew made this a thing way back in the day. I've never let it go because I think there's something about it that feels lived in and very cool and relaxed. Now what I think is great about the way cloth and stone does it is the variation in fabrication. So I love this guy because it is in that great tencel fabric. So beautiful. This guy is the sleeveless fray edge pullover. So again that signature fray here on the sleeve as well as on the neckline you're going to get that great open neck. I'm actually going to pop this one on so you guys can see what it looks like. Such a great one because opens up the neckline but I want you to see what that kind of denim on denim looks like I've been feeling this monochromatic dressing I don't know about you guys but it makes it so easy when you're not thinking about how to like match perfectly does this top go back to these blue jeans I just go all one color it's also really flattering okay so split neck on this one which is so nice now you can see what it looks like if I don't have it tucked in Think relaxed, casual, easy to throw on. It just, it feels like just a really simple top, right? And I, I, I could see this with a little flat shoe. Maybe I throw on my Burks or my little Lester slides and I'm good, I'm out the door running around. Even paired back to say like a cute little short, okay, casual. Now, if I wanna turn it up a little bit, this is where I tuck in. Now you can see this has got some good length to it. I mean, it's even kind of almost covering my tush but I'm gonna do a little tuck and you can see how this just like automatically elevates this top and this whole look. Keep on my heels, little blousing, keep that neckline open, I don't tie it, done. So fun and yes you can wear blue on blue, denim on denim, such a fun combination and so yummy and this blue is just absolutely delicious a really easy way to just get out the door quickly and feel really put together. Lo absolutely love this, absolutely love this. Okay, I've been hearing from a bunch of you that you're looking for tops with some sleeves, just a little bit of coverage, right? Like, bring me some coverage, and I hear you and I get it, so there's a couple amazing tops that I wanted to highlight because they are both flattering and they have a tiny little bit more coverage on the sleeve. We're gonna start with this little gem. Ooh, there's so many reasons to love this guy. This is the short sleeve tie up top. Don't you just love cloth and stone for telling you what it is? I mean, could it be more clear? It's short sleeve, it's a tie up top, done. Okay, so why do we love this? Number one, little cap sleeve, not too sweet, not gonna cut you off in that weird spot. It actually has some really nice shoulder and upper arm coverage, right? So really, really fun. Love this. Number two, this is that great little gathered neckline. So not too high up on the neck, just enough to kind of give you some interest. 
And then last but not least is this little front tie. So I love this because if we're not into the fussing and the mustang of a half tuck or a full tuck, this gives you automatic waist shape, so easy, and looks so great back to a full length jean. Now I'm just gonna pop this guy on so you can see it because it's a different silhouette than what we've been trying on. So we had this great little split neck, we had our fun little button down, and then now I'm gonna put on this little more gathered top because I think this is a great one to show you. I also love the color of this, that great little sage green. Really fun color. Like I love it back to denim, of course, but I also think it would be really cute with a utility pant, or here in the height of summer, this would be so chic with a pair of white denim. I mean, done, right? Okay, let's see, let's get this guy on. Okay, so there you go. See how much great arm coverage, that's why I love this guy, and then again, hits you right at that waist so you don't have to worry about any of that fussing and mussing of trying to do a little half tuck. Not super tight around the waistband, so it's an easy one to throw on. And you can kind of muss with this a little bit if you want it to be a little bit of a looser knot. I just like this, guys. I feel like this is an easy one, too, if you are going back to the office, a fun one just to pop on. Maybe you need a little bit of a cleaner jean. That's why I grabbed these little Sophie crops from A. Goldie. This is my go into the office jean. Dark, simple, easy, and you can see how it takes it from edgy to clean, like office ready, just a change of pants, right? So fun, so easy. Also super cute, of course, with a pair of cutoffs, but I'm thinking about some of those really versatile pieces that can take you all the places. And last but not least, for just another short sleeve option, and this is the same kind of solution as we talked about with this one. No tucking, no worrying about that. This guy is so fantastic. More of an elastic banded bottom, so we have been loving this kind of smocked bottom, and it carries through in this great little um, split neck. More of a V, a little bit less arm coverage than this guy, but you're still getting more than you would in just a tank, which is so great. And this yummy, yummy pink, it's so, so pretty. Now, I love this back to a lighter jean. It just feels really high summer and delicious and really fun to wear. Pop on some gold jewelry, out the door in five. This is also, though, a really good one, much like that great little blue top I had on, to pair back to a cutoff to go more casual. Now, this is the Parker Long. I flashed earlier that Parker Short. One of my faves in the swap meet fabrication. So lighter blue, just like the full Riley that I'm wearing. You can just see how this becomes really easy to throw on and it's just like a one and done look. No brainer. Last but not least for more of an arm coverage, I did want to grab this little guy because I just think it's so, so pretty. If you're looking for something really lightweight but still feels high summer, you can go with this little wash linen top in this yummy, yummy, light, 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 light peach. So pretty, so great. Again, split neck, this guy now, I think, I, when I first looked at it, I thought, ooh, is that too sheer? Can I wear it over, you know, my normal bra? Am I gonna wear a cami underneath it? Just wear a nude bra under this, really easy to wear, not too sheer, and also not too low. But low enough that you can kind of show off like your fun little stack jewelry. I'm absolutely loving this new piece we just got in. It's like the easiest piece to mix and match and pair with literally any other stack necklace you have. Perfect for this. Love, 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 love. Okay, does anybody do a great woven shirt better than a, like anybody better than cloth and stone? I'm thinking about your relaxed button down. You know that piece, the one that you reach for again and again and again and again, because you're gonna wear it a million times over. So fantastic, and Cloth & Stone has so many versions. Sleeveless, short sleeve, long sleeve, different fabrications, different washes. So let's start kind of from the top. First and foremost, I feel like this is the shirt that kind of put them on the map, right? Is this great little sleeveless split back tank. The split back comes in here, and it's those little details you get from Cloth & Stone that make these tops so special. Now, I love this because you can wear your normal brow with it. You do not need to wear a racer back. 
really, really flattering covered placky, which I think elevates it a little bit. So if you're thinking, and this is like, feels like a normal denim shirt, but in this great wash down fabrication, turns it up just a notch. If you're looking for a little more coverage, then that's where I go with the short sleeve version. What I think is so fun about this guy, you get that great little roll sleeve. This is more of a relaxed kind of drop shoulder. I like this top to feel more relaxed. So I wear my true size in this. It's meant to be not a super fitted or tailored shape. It's meant to feel kind of relaxed. You get these great kind of detail on the button. Perfect drop here. This is the Island Wash button down. So yummy, so fantastic. And then you get into your just classic chambray button down. I dare you to find a piece that you will wear more than this in your closet this summer. This can be a beach cover up. It can be something you throw on over a tank. Put it on with jeans, put it on with your beach pant, put it on with your shorts. So easy to wear, throw it under a jacket. So two different versions I wanted to call out. So this is the sky wash and then this is the denim shirt tail. So we're gonna start with the sky wash. Couple details about this that I absolutely love. Number one, more of a three quarter sleeve. So if you're looking for like a true summer chambray shirt, this is a great one because it's not quite so heavy. More of a petite button, which I think there adds a little feminine detail to this. And then this wash is just absolutely delicious. Now I think this is a little bit more shaped than your sleeveless or your short sleeve. I like this fit because it just feels a, just a touch more tailored, not fitted but just a touch more tailored. So if you're looking for something a little bit cleaner, then I think I just want to check and make sure I wasn't missing a question, then this is a really good option. Now, if you want something more relaxed, that's where I would go here. Now, this is the denim shirt tail button down. You can see you've got a great placket here that just gives it a little bit more swing. Definitely more of a relaxed fit than your island wash. I love this guy because it's that great medium blue, so it looks terrific with really any wash of denim. And again, this is that piece you're gonna go back to again and again. Same covered placket as your sleeveless and your short sleeve, so elevates it just a touch, okay? Just a touch. And then last but not least, how fun is this? This is brand new, just got it in. Really, really cute print. It's almost like a tie-dye camo, like a, abstract camo so fun neutral so this guy is the wind brushed button down almost feels like a white you can see it's kind of in the same kind of sage green family this so fantastic back to a pair of white denim or a pair of white cutoffs also again love this guy just open with a tank underneath and then an easy breezy pant i've got the exact idea for you how cute would this be so we have this great little fun cropped breezy pant from cloth and stone i'd wear this shirt almost as a jacket and then take my tried and true maya tank which we love 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 tuck it into the pant leave this open done such an easy easy look doesn't this just scream like beach bonfire backyard barbecue patio perching so fun so easy this pant is absolutely fantastic and Cloth and Stone does such a great job of making a little beachy pant. Now this guy I like because number one, it's that wide leg. So just feels easy, breezy, high summer. Number two, it's truly a crop. So no right length on this one. Anything above your ankle works, be it that you're tall or more petite. It is not a paper bag waist, which I know can be kind of tricky, but it does have that really fun little ruffle hem here which is so easy to wear. Love this, just paired back to a simple little tank and you're good to go. Now another pant that kind of falls in that same category, same wide leg. This guy though has a drawstring waist on it. So fun and so chic, I just wanna give you the right name of this one. The belted high waist crop. So again, a true crop has pockets with this great little self tie belt in this light, light, light blue chambray. So, so pretty. There is no easier outfit truly than this pant with your Maya tank tucked in and a little slide and you're like out the door in five instantly put together. Now, if you're looking for more of a jogger, I think a, like a less wide leg version of that pant we just showed, but equally fun is this little guy. This is the chambray jogger. Not a super tight 
ankle on this one, which I actually kind of like, so it feels almost like a nod to a straight leg. Really, really pretty, actually exclusive to Every, which is really fun, so you can only get it at our stores. These great little patch pockets, packs like a dream. So if you're looking for a lightweight pan to throw into your bag as you're getting away this weekend, this is a great one to do it in. And then last but not least is that whole just kind of soft bottom category. So similar to all those great beachy pants, you deserve a little beachy short or skirt. So really similar silhouettes in all three of these. There's just different ways to do it. So first and foremost is that welt pocket short. To me, this is so kind of the sister to that wide leg pant, but done in a short. Really nice thing about these shorts is they're not tight on the legs. So I like this because I think it looks just as fun with a little graphic tee as it does with a more dressed up tank. Can you mix a woven shirt and a woven short? Absolutely, this guy would be so darn cute. Back to your little button down and lightweight, breezy, easy. There's another kind of slightly modified version, so no drawstring on this one in more of kind of a dip dye, tie dye short. So cute and fun on this. I love this guy because it just screams summer. And then that same family is this great little skirt. Now we've had versions of this skirt over the years and I swear Cloth and Stone just makes it better and better every single year. I think the berry on this is super fun. Really, really pretty. Now we styled this initially, again, back to that little Maya tank, but I've also played with this guy. I've put on like a denim shirt and a simple little boat neck or um, another tank. I think it actually can be really fun to pick up some of the color in a graphic tee, or I wear it back to more of, if I wanted to kind of dress it up a little bit, I might grab this little cami from Cloth and Stone, and now I've got a more elevated look. So darn cute. This cami PS is a fabulous option if you want to turn things up a little bit. It comes in a couple different colors, actually. I've got the white and the animal print here. Both super fun options. Now, I, of course, love it back to a jean if I wanted to go more clean. This is, again, where I'd grab my Sophie crop, throw on my heels. If I wanted to go more casual, this is where I grab my Parker short, easy. If I wanted to have what felt like just a more intentional put together look, this is where I grab my wide leg pant, done. So kind of three different ways to wear it with a jean, which I think feels a little sexy with a short, more casual, more polished is where I'd grab my little pant from Cloth and Stone, done. So easy to wear. Now, last but not least is kind of that whole fun dress romper category. So we've been loving all these chambray pieces. These guys are flying out the door, but I had to show them because I know we have some units left, not a ton, but some. And I'm always ugh, struggling to find those rompers that feel grown up. We talk about this all the time. And I love that Cloth and Stone has mastered the grown up romper. So first and foremost, short sleeve version, super hard to find. I mean, you can hardly ever find a romper with a sleeve. So love this utility romper with the drawstring. I think that looks so chic and some of those great metal buttons. Again, more arm coverage. And then a sleeveless version, which I also love, that more petite button. Again, a drawstring, so you can really adjust the waist to make it work for you. And then that great little relaxed collar. Now, I love this guy, just worn kind of cash. I throw on a slide with it, and I'm running out the door. Think farmer's markets, running errands, maybe meeting a girlfriend for lunch. Great way to go. If you wanted to dress it up a little bit, that's where I grabbed this stunner up. Oh, and we're back to that amazing color that we love, love, love so much. Such a beautiful dress if you're looking for more of an occasion dress or you just want a pretty dress for dinner. This is such a great way to do it. I absolutely love the tearing on this. That halter neckline is so, so pretty. And you've got this great bow that I love to tie at the side here so you get that drape over your shoulder. Not crazy, crazy long. So for those of you that are petite, you're not gonna swim in this maxi, which is delightful. If you're taller, it becomes more of a midi. Equally flattering. Now, shoes with this. Obviously, the shoots works beautifully. If you want something more flat, I might go with my Dolce Vita little ankle wrap because again, this dress is a little bit shorter, so you're gonna get credit for that. 
But last but not least, we just got this fun little shoe in from Dr. Scholl's and I had to bring it out. I tried it on yesterday. Number one, it's so darn comfortable, not heavy, and it adds a little kind of 70s flair to literally anything you put on. I think this would be such a fun combination. And a little black next to this rust, I think, is really fresh and feels kind of summer transitional, which is so great. An easy way to kind of update. Okay, gang. There we go. Cloth and stone favorites. Can you get enough? I know I can't. It's my absolute favorite, and they're so easy to wear to all the things you've got going on this summer. Thanks so much for joining me today. It was so fun to be with you, and I hope everyone has a fantastic week. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.